Watch folds inside encoder will keep an eye out for any renders coming out of Premiere Pro or After Effects and it'll instantly batch convert them to any format you need without you having to lift a finger. Hi guys and welcome back to Editor's Life. Today we're looking at how to set up a watch folder inside Adobe Media Encoder. It doesn't take long at all and it's really simple, so let's set it up. When you open up Adobe Media Encoder, you're gonna notice that next to the Q tab, you've got one called Watch Folders. You wanna press that and then click on the plus icon. This is where you create your watch folder, so just click New Folder, type in anything you want. I'm just gonna type in Watch Folder, press Create, and it is on my desktop. I'm now gonna click Choose. So now if you open up your watch folder, you're gonna notice there's an output folder in there. Just leave that, that's totally normal. You're gonna need that later on. Inside the encoder watch folder, you can select multiple formats to convert to simultaneously. For example, our initial render is gonna be a 4K QuickTime file. You might want a high res 1080p version. So all you have to do is come down to your preferences and drag that over. You might also be rendering to YouTube. So you might want to scroll down and select there p preset and drag that underneath. If you're working, for example, on a large scale project and you've got a separate team reviewing the audio and you don't want them to see the video, you could come up to audio only and render an MP3 for them. The possibilities are, are totally endless. You can do as many as you want. You can create as many as you want. It's all down to your personal preference. Once you've done that, click Q and you are totally finished in the setup process. The next time you find yourself editing a project like this inside Premiere Pro, you render totally as normal. The only difference is you need to make sure that you're rendering to your watch folder. This is a 4K ProRes file that I'm rendering to start with. You wanna come down to desktop, watch folder, stick it in the root, don't put it in the, uh, the output section and press save. Then to render your file, just press export and open up encoder. You'll notice that the minute your Premiere file finishes rendering, it's gonna instantly start queuing up the conversions that you've created, and they'll all start rendering and convert simultaneously. As you can see, these are all done, so we're just gonna go back to the watch folder, and now you'll notice that you've got source, which is where your original file went, so this is the, the 4K render. If we scroll across and go to output, this is where you'll find the three conversions you've made based on your watch folder's conversion settings. And that's pretty much it. I, uh, I hope you found this quick tip tutorial helpful. If you did, you could do me a favor by leaving a like on the video. There's a lot more content coming in the, uh, the next few weeks, so feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Yeah.